Welcome to this really quick tutorial on how to get custom songs in Beat Saber on PC. My name is Goslin Maxine and I'll help you get this done and over with fast so you can get back into chopping blocks to the beat of your favorite songs. So first and foremost, you need to open up Beat Saber and play once. After that, you can go ahead and just log off and move on to the next part. So the next thing is to go to Beast Saber. I have the link in the description there. Go to Beast Saber and you'll go ahead and make an account. That's it. Once you've made your account, you'll go ahead and minimize that and get that out of there. The next thing is to download the latest mod assistant from GitHub. I do have the link there. All right, so you'll go to that link. The very first one you see on the bottom is modassistant.exe. You'll click on that. You'll see that it starts to download. Once it's finished, you'll go ahead and let it know where you need to save it. That's it. You can go ahead and close that out once you're done with that. Next thing is you have to know where Beat Saber is, where you have it saved. So mine's in Steam. So the easiest way for me is to go to Beat Saber in Steam, go down to Properties, and then you'll go to Local Files, you'll browse, and it'll show you where you have it saved. For me, it's gonna be in my G folder, that's where I keep it. Now I'll let you know you can close all that out. So the next thing to do is you have to install some plugins and stuff so that you can get the mods to work. So what you're gonna do is open up the Mod Assistant app. I normally just type in the search because it comes up for me right away, so that's how I do it. So you open up that bad boy, you'll agree. Once you get to this page, you'll just agree. And that's gonna let you go ahead and start viewing the mods tab. So you go ahead and click on the mods. Now these mods that pop up, these are all the mods that you can use. So there's a bunch, right? You can go through all of that. And you can add or take away things that you, you know, wanna use depending on what you wanna do with Beat Saber. Um, there are some like camera two people use that a lot if you're streaming it if you're gonna you know YouTube whatever camera two if, if, if there's a whole bunch you, you, you can just go and scroll through all that at your leisure you know what I mean but for now you're gonna leave it the way it is and you're just gonna hit install or update install and update once it's finished installing the mods go to options at options, it's gonna show you where you where you have it saved, right? Where you have Beat Saber saved. What you should do is click everything, especially the one-click installer. Enable that, do that. That we don't have to come back. Just do it now and then you won't have to come back to it. I usually just hit install and update one more time before I do anything else. And then once it's done, I'm out of there. Now, you can go ahead and load up Beat Saber. Once you're back in Beat Saber, you look to your left and you will see magically all of the mods appear, the ones that you have. So you should have more songs. That's what yours should say if you did just that. So you'll click on more songs and here you'll see all of the songs you can choose from, from A to Z. You can also hit the search button. Let's look for Tetris just to give you a, you know, something to see, I guess. So we'll just download the first Tetris there. So you'll click on it. It'll give you all the stats to the song and you'll just download from here. Once you download, you'll see back at the left that it's going to start the download bar. You don't have to stay in this, in this area of Beat Saber. You can leave and, and look at other songs, do something else, but you have to wait for that to download. It's not instant. Okay, so I've, I've looked for it before where I'm like, why isn't it downloaded? It's because it's still downloading. So 
Just wait for it to be done. And then it should show up in your lists. So we'll go back, go to solo, go to your custom tab, and you can scroll through until you find it. It was Tetris, so it's way down here. There it is, see? It's on our list now. And you can play it. Now, if you decide you don't wanna do it through here, you can go into Beast Saber, and in Beast Saber, you can go to Find Maps, right? And when you do that, there's gonna be a whole list. You have, a, you have your filters, you have everything there, a whole list, or you can use the search bar and type something in if you wanna search. Now, the whole reason we have the one-click enabled is because with that, you can add music here by simply clicking. You won't have to download it and then transfer it over. You just use the one click button right there and that's it. Once you click on something, like for example this, it'll bring up a little pop-up, tell you that it's installing and it'll tell you when it's done. So we'll give it a second, we'll wait for it. And it's done. And the next time you open up Beat Saber, that song will be in your list. So this is how we go about adding custom songs to our Beat Saber. Again, my name is Goslin Maxine. If you did like this tutorial, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see in the future. I'm still new to Beat Saber, but I will do what I can. Bye.